Okay, everyone, it's the 19th of January, and we have insulation. So, a few things to go through. Again, this is going to be a quick video. <laughs> no, this really will be quick, though. Uh, here we are. We're in the basement. So, uh, nothing really changed. Just things a little bit more organized in here for the insulator, insulators. But uh, they've ran the pink stuff all around the perimeter. Uh, this is not done yet in here. They need to put down a, a plastic to cover that for moisture, the plastic there, and also to get some of this uh, mud off of the wood, which is the main problem that's to be addressed. Um, this is the last of our HVAC that will stay. Luckily, this is coated with uh, insulation, so we can add AC to it, but the rest of it will not be coated. It'll be straight galvanized. Um, basically, the electric company that I talked to, they quoted me 3500 about 100 bucks to rerun the uh, HVAC that we had to tear down because of these I-beams and the support and framing we had to do in here. 3500 to rerun ventilation. If I wanted to add uh, an air conditioning unit, the insulation that goes around the galvanized HVAC ventilation, as well as a, um, a switcher that goes in the furnace to cut, keep hot, cold air from going into the furnace and hot air from going into the AC. It's like a, it's like a flipper thing. Um, that would have been five grand extra. So we said, eh, just put up, we'll leave this as is, the stuff that's insulated, put up the stuff that's fine for heat, and then next spring, we'll, uh, we'll wrap that in the right stuff to reduce condensation. So yeah, so here's the utility room framed in. Uh, they're going to be sheetrocking the outside of this. There's the server drops, uh, power line drops. These two drops actually end up going up into the island right above there. So that's that. And um, stairs ready to be kind of, you know, sheetrocked in. And insulation is everywhere. All right, let's go upstairs. And these lights aren't permanent. They're only permanent until we install the drop ceiling at some point later this year. So, you know, basically this area will get sheetrocked. And then it'll be as is until we can afford to put flooring down, drop ceiling, she rock the inside of the utility room, uh, build, beer, build the beer cellar out here, and then put in a half bath over here. So this is all pretty much done. Let's check out the stairs. Oh, look at that. Insulation. Actually, I've already walked this once. So well, we've got insulation in here. I was told that the heat turns on tomorrow. They'll keep it on low at least. The sheet rockers can do their job. It already sounds better in here because you've got all the acoustics bouncing off the the wall we've got sprayed in uh insulation here insulation around the windows uh they got the the the, the, the spray in stuff there around the windows and they've um they put on this plastic and above that is also the spray spray foam as well uh here's the second bedroom remember this was not insulated at all we took the walls down there was no insulation behind it there was also no light in here. There's also no plugs in here. And the closet was a piece of crap. So we already ordered, arrives tomorrow. We arrived, we ordered the bamboo click lock flooring for this room. Uh, it's framed in completely except for the closet part. Uh, they're just gonna sheet rock this whole thing starting tomorrow, but they did spray this all in as well. And this used to be a little bit of a, um, a small area between this room and the rest of the house. This was an addition added 20 years ago. Uh, they just fill it all in. So it's completely filled in and insulated okay let's check out the bathroom here is the bathroom the plumbers have added a little note for us <laughs> so i did a, i was actually happy they were they were specking out the location of where these valves go while i was here and they had me standing there and they uh got everything set up for me to be able to use the plan was that we actually uh, put shelves in here and had this as a little towel storage it's about six inches but now that they've put this ventilation in here so close, I don't know if that's still going to happen. We'll have to see what happens with that. I think the sheet rockers are going to close it in. Uh, toilet goes here. The copper is all in. And there's where the, the sink and vanity will go. It's all cut out and wired for the vanity. And pantry is done, all framed in, ready to be sheet rocked. Here's our attic access up top there. I previously said it was going to be in the walk-in closet. They moved it to the pantry, which is great. Our room, or my bedroom, we got our light fixtures. We're putting the USB ports on all these walls for Heather and I to charge our phones, iPads, Apple Watches, a network cable there where the TV will go right here. Walk-in closet looks pretty sufficient. Very excited about all this. <sighs> yeah. And finally, they've started doing some of the plywood from where the cabinets are going to go. Uh, we got our range...
the power for the range, the, the hardy power for the fridge. So basically the orientation of this, I haven't done this with you yet, but uh, when you look at it from this way, we got fridge, range, or fridge, cabinet, range with the range hood over it. Then we've got cabinet, 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 all the way till we get to here where the sink is. To the left of the sink will be the dishwasher. Uh, that is the, the overview of that. But yeah, this is it guys. So next video, I'm, I'm actually a little bit like, it feels good. The next video I show you will be on Monday or Tuesday. And by then the sheet rocking will be completely done. And uh, our contractors guys will be back in here starting, I believe, trim, not trim. I don't think they're doing flooring yet. I think the next step would be, uh, I don't know actually what they're doing next. Cause sheet rocking is also a subcontractor. So I don't know who they're, what they're gonna do next. But sheet rocking will be done over the weekend basically. So I am, uh, I'm pretty happy guys. Pretty happy, it feels, feels good in here. Heat will come on soon and I won't be bleeding heat anymore, which will be amazing. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, this is my happy face. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of negative stuff lately and I'm, I'm pretty happy to see things coming together like this and have a nice weekend. Thanks for watching.